Hello everyone. Today we're going to begin at module 18, which is the unit on trigonometry, and this will be all the foundations to pre-calculus. So it, uh, it is an important um, unit, and we're going to start with day one today, which is um, the angles of rotation and uh, radian measures, and we will just be exploring basic angles and finding <coughs> coterminal angles of those angles. And let's take a look at um, the first statement here. In trigonometry, an angle of rotation is an angle that is formed by starting and ending positions of a ray that rotates about its endpoint. So we're going to take a look at how to draw a basic angle. Um, an angle that is in standard position in a coordinate plane is that the starting position of the ray um, which is the initial side, is on the positive x-axis and has the endpoints at the origin. And in trigonometry, angles can have measures greater than 180 and even less than 0, so there's really no limit. It's going to be just in multiples of um, those uh, uh, positive and negative angles um, all the way around. So we're going to learn that we have different types of angles. So. Um, most of you have already been exposed to this um, unit circle right here, which is uh, cutting the x and y coordinate into four quadrants. So this is quadrant one going in counterclockwise. This is quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So I hope you would um, review this really quick because we will be using this information over and over to determine the different values of the angles. So um, again, the angles that are in standard position start with quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. And here is an initial angle. So here's how you form an angle from the initial side, which is on the positive x-axis. So that will be the initial side. And then ends on, it could be ending on anywhere between quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4. And so the angle that is in between the initial side and the terminal side is labeled as theta. So we usually use theta to represent an angle in the standard position. And so positive angles are going in counterclockwise. So if we're going up, we, we have a positive angle. And if we're going down, we'll have a negative angle. So going up above 0 is positive. And going down below 0 is going to be negative. So that's how we um, identify whether an angle is positive or negative. Let's take a look at another definition. Coterminal angles are angles that are sharing a terminal side. And two angles are coterminal if they have the same initial and terminal sides. So here's an example of um, an angle. So a 45 degree angle, the initial side is right here and ends right here. And so this is 45 degrees. This is the terminal side right here. And this is the initial side. And notice that this is where the angles are coterminal because they share this terminal right here. So if we're going positive, we are talking about the 45 angle going up. Now, if we go below, going this way, all the way around, coming back to the same terminal side. So notice this is the terminal side that is shared by the two angles. So we are saying that the angle that is 45 degrees is actually equal to the angle that is negative 315. And so those are coterminal angles, and those are not the only one because basically if you take 45 degrees and you go unwind it, so if you unwind it by going down, you're subtracting 360, going back a full circle, you're going to end up with 315. To find another coterminal angle, you can start with the 315 and subtract another 360, and you'll end up with negative um, 675 and that's another and so it keeps going you can subtract another 360 
uh, from the 360 right here from 675 and you'll end up with negative um, 1000 something so those and then you can just keep going the list keeps going for the coterminal angles so that is how we, and then on the positive end if you actually take 45 degrees and you unwind it the other way going upwards you keep adding 360 then you're going to have 405 that will be a coterminal positive angle and if you add 360 again, then you'll have another positive, which is 765, something like that. And then you can keep going to get the multiple positive coterminal angles. So we have coterminal angles that are, so coterminal angles that are positive and they can be negative. And you obtain the positive ones by keep adding the 360 and you get the negatives by keep subtracting 360. So in an essence, this is how you obtain coterminal angles. There are multiple numbers of um, revolutions with an angle of rotation and then the counter clock angle of rotation corresponds to any positive real number. So this is just a review of what I just summarized above and going negative is going down. So here's some more example. To find a coterminal angle, you add um, 360 to the existing angle, and so you can end up with something that is bigger than 360 for a coterminal angle. Here's a review of the quadrants again. So the quadrants again are going counterclockwise: one, two, three, and four. And if you take a look at the angles um, for the positive, if you start with zero, you end up with 360 here, going above. And if you're going negative, you start with zero, you end up with negative 360. So it depends on which direction you're going. So let's take a look at some examples so we could practice this. Example 1a, draw an angle of rotation of 310. So basically, to draw an angle of rotation, basically they just want you to draw what the angle looks like in the coordinate plane. So if we start with the terminal, I mean the um, initial side of zero, we can go and first of all, let's review again the based on the chart above. Zero degree is the beginning, then up here is 90, going over here is 180, and down here is 270. So if we want to go to 310, we know we need to pass the 270 mark, and it's going to be before 360 because we're going to end up with 360 over here. So 310 is going to start from 0, past 90, past 180, past the 270. So it's going to be somewhere like over here. So this angle that starts from here all the way over here. So let me highlight that. From here all the way here, this angle is has a measure of 310 degrees. So that is what the angle looks like. So... Um, that's part A, drawing the angle. Part B, in which quadrant is the terminal side of the angle? Well, obviously, this is the terminal side, and it starts at, um, so it starts at 1, 2, 3, and then this is going to be quadrant 4. So, obviously, this terminal side is ending on quadrant 4. So, the answer is quadrant 4 is where it's lying. Find a negative coterminal angle to 310. So, remember I said earlier, to find a negative, I need to subtract 310 minus 360, and I'll have a negative 50 degrees, and that is the coterminal negative. And then also label in the drawing from A. So the negative to fifth, uh, negative 50 is actually um, going to be starting from the zero, the initial side, going down. 50 degrees. So notice that this angle is sharing the same terminal side as 310. So that is where it is showing. So this is your negative 50 degrees right here. And then part D says find a positive coterminal angle to 310. Also label it. And so now we're going to find another positive um, from the 310. So we need to start with 310. And remember, I said to add 360 if we want the positive coterminal. So we're going to add the, that up, and we have 670 is the coterminal. So which means we're going to start from 0, go all the way past 
you are 310, come back to 360 and go all the way around to come back to where the same terminal is and that is going to be 670. So you're just wrapping around the circle one more time to get to your 670 because basically again you are starting with the angle so you start from zero you're going to end up with 310 here and you just basically keep going wrap around one time 360 and that's how you end up with the 670 so notice the magical thing about all these three angles is that they are all sharing the same terminal right here which makes them all co-terminal angles so these are all co-terminal angles hopefully that is clear for you and the next example is actually for you to um, work maybe try on your own first but we can work on it together and then the next one you can try so example 1b draw an angle of rotation of negative 60 so since the angle is negative we know we need to go downwards and um, going negative goes 0, negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, and then come back to negative 360. So that's going on the negative side. So if we start with this coter with the um, initial side, we're going to start, and 60 is not even at 90 yet, so we, we know we're going to end up somewhere in the middle. So we're going to start over here, and maybe something like that. So this will be your negative 60 degree, and that is what the angle looks like. Um, next, in which quadrant is the terminal side of the angle? So again, the angle stops right here, which is quadrant 1, 2, 3, and again, we ended up in quadrant 4. Find a negative coterminal angle to negative 60. So again, to find a negative, we need to subtract 360 and that is going to give us negative 420 degrees so basically we're going to take this and go wrap around one more time so from negative 60 we're going to wrap around come back this way which is going to be your negative 420 okay and then find a positive coterminal so we're going to start with negative 60 Finding a positive means we're going to add 360 and we're going to end up with 300 degrees. So that is where the positive one is going to be. Now positive means we're going to start from the negative 360 and we're going to go above, which means we need to wrap the other way, come back this way, and that should be 300 degrees right there. So that is your 300 degree. Okay, so there is a difference going up and down. One is positive and one is negative. Now you can go ahead and try this problem before you look at the answer. Hopefully you've had a chance to try the problem. So draw an angle of rotation for negative 150. So again, because it's negative, we're going to go um, down. So we're going to start from the zero, the initial side, and we're going to go below. Now again, negatives are 0, negative 90, negative 180, and negative 270. Come back to negative 360 right here. And so negative 150 is not quite 180 yet, so it's going to be somewhere over here. So we start from here, we end up over here, and that's going to give you negative 150. So the terminal side is actually going to be on quadrant 1, 2, three, four, so clearly it's going to be on quadrant three. And C, find a negative coterminal angle. That means we're going to actually subtract 360 and we should end up with negative 510. And basically, again, in the picture, we just keep going negative and come back to the same terminal side, wrapping around like a, like a snail, and it's going to be negative 510 and it's on the same side. So negative 510 just wraps it around. And then find a positive coterminal angle. We're gonna start with negative 150, and we're gonna add 360, which should give us positive 210. So going negative is going to be wrapping, um, 
the other way. So if we can start with the negative 150, which is here, and go the opposite way, we come back, and this angle should be the 210. Because if you think about it, um, 180, if we're going this way, this is 180, so adding a little bit more, that should make it 210, and that makes sense. And here is a discussion question. Is the measure of an angle of rotation in start position, standard position, completely determined by the position of its terminal side? And the answer is no, because there are infinitely many angles of rotation, both positive and negative, that can be drawn in standard position with a given terminal side. So it's, you're not limited to just one, and you you have unlimited number of rotate um, angles of rotation, um, co-terminal angles. These are called going uh, opposite ways, positive or negative, and basically you have an unlimited number of angles that just keeps wrapping around and going coming back. You can come back to the same co-terminal side. Okay, and that is the end of day one. So. Go ahead and get started with your homework. You can refer to Google Classroom for your assignment. And have a good day.